Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna explain while loops in JavaScript. A while loop will repeat some code while some condition is true. Take this program for example. We have a variable username. If our username is equal to an empty string, then we will console.log, you didn't enter your name. Else console.log, hello, username. If I run this program, then check within our console, well, we didn't enter our username. Now, if I were to change this program to a while loop, while our username is equal to an empty string, repeat this line of code forever until this condition is no longer true. Then when we escape the while loop, we can print the message, hello, username. This is what happens when I run the program. We just print this line of code forever and my computer is probably gonna crash. I can't seem to stop. Help! Okay, I think it broke. A while loop will continue some code infinitely while this condition is true. If it no longer is true, then we can escape the while loop. If I were to set my username to be something other than an empty string, well, we never actually enter the while loop. We skip over it entirely and go straight to console.log at the end. So what we do first is check the condition. If it's true, then we get sucked into the while loop and execute this forever. You usually want some sort of way to exit the while loop while you're in it. Otherwise, you get what is known as an infinite loop. So let's rewrite this program. Let username equal an empty string. While our username is strictly equal to an empty string, let's ask the user to enter in their name. Username equals, I'll use a window prompt. Enter your name. Okay, let's try this again. Enter your name, I'll press okay. We can't seem to close this window until we type in something. You can see I'm clicking on okay, nothing's happening. I will type in my name, press okay. Then our console displays, hello, whatever your name is. So that's a benefit of a while loop. Repeat some code until this condition is no longer true. Since we populated our username, our username was not equal to an empty string. We filled username with some characters. What if I instead press cancel? Hello, null. Null means no value. Username will equal null if I press the cancel button. Let's append this condition. Or username is strictly equal to null. Now I shouldn't be able to continue until I type in something and I can't escape if I hit cancel. While one of these conditions is true, execute this code forever. Let's type in our name again. And now we can escape the while loop. There's also another variation of a while loop. It's known as a do while loop. How that works is that you can move while and the condition to the end. So we'll place it here. Then precede the set of curly braces with do. So we will always execute this code at least once, then check the condition at the end. Using a do while loop, I don't necessarily need to set the username. I can set it to be undefined. If I set my username to be undefined, then use a standard while loop. We never execute the while loop. Our username equals undefined. It doesn't equal an empty string or the value null. So we skip over the while loop entirely. So a do while loop is another variation of a while loop. Do the code first, then check the condition at the end. So there's a few different ways you can write the same program. All right, let's go over another example. We'll create three variables, let logged in. Logged in will be false to begin with. To log in, we have to type in a matching username I will declare a username but not assign it, and a password. So let's create a while loop. How do we escape the while loop? Let's say while not, I'll use the not logical operator, while not logged in. Once we're logged in, once this is true, we escape the while loop. We will ask a user for their username, 
username equals window dot prompt enter your username let's ask for a password as well password equals enter your password I'll add an if statement within the while loop we'll check to see if our username is strictly equal to then make up some username my user name and if our password is strictly equal to some password like my password if our username and password both match these values then we can log in so logged in will equal true then I'll console.log a confirmation message you are logged in else let's console.log another message invalid credentials please try again all right let's see if this works enter your username I am just going to press OK enter your password I'll type in something legitimate so I'll type in my password uh, invalid credentials please try again that's because I didn't type in a username I'll type in my username be sure it matches my username my password and we are now logged in so since we set logged in to be true when we go back to the beginning of our while loop this condition is no longer true while not logged in but since we're logged in we escape the while loop now another variation of this is the do while loop let's cut the condition along with while add it to the end then add do to the beginning so we'll check to see if we're logged in at the end it pretty much does the same thing but with one exception in this program how this is different is that I can set logged in to be true to begin with we'll still receive that prompt I'll type in my username type in my password we are currently logged in so we do not continue the while loop if we used a standard while loop and we begin by being logged in well we never ask for any of this we never enter the while loop while not logged in do all of this but since we are logged in we don't do any of it all right everybody so that's while loops repeat some code while some condition is true while some condition remains true execute this code forever until it's no longer true and well everybody that's while loops in javascript